One of the things which can really annoy me is when Mac is doing something alone without my knowledge. And iCloud tends to do it quite often. Luckily, there is one new feature which can help you have your files more under control. I remember a situation where I saved many of my files on the iCloud in order to have them accessible on the way. And the files app out of the blue decided to remove all of the offline versions of these files. So I didn't have them accessible until I got to the internet connection and re-download it again. This is just a simple example, but imagine you put there your flight tickets, some contacts on your insurance or any other entry confirmations, and when it comes the time you actually need to show it, they will not be accessible. So why and when is iCloud doing that? And how to stop the files app removing all of these offline versions of your important files? Let's find out. Well, the answer on the first question is quite tricky. There is no clear indication when and what files will be removed. It is based on their size and usage. So if you're running out of the storage on your locker drive, iCloud might decide to offload some of these large files on the iCloud to save space. But there is also the other fact. How often, if ever, you are using these files. But even here, there is no clear period of time when you might expect it to happen. Well, here I should be presenting myself as the master of Mac who knows everything from the top to the bottom. But I don't really know the exact answer on this. I can leave it on you and the comments section below. So maybe together we'll find some more answers. On this channel, I always want to be honest with you, bring you all of my opinions, knowledge, tips and tutorials in order to help you control your devices better. But myself, I don't even control this channel. It is on you. I noticed that more than 95% of people watching these videos never subscribed. But I can't make you subscribe. I only can ask for that and I only can keep on doing what I'm doing and bring you more tutorials. But now let's finish this tutorial with answering the second question. Maybe that will help. Apple have actually already addressed this issue and bring new feature which is called Keep Download It. You can use it to ensure that the selected files and folders on iCloud will stay downloaded. Their copies will be there until you manually remove it. In the previous sentence you might have missed one important thing. I said that it can be whole folders. So now go ahead, open your iCloud drive. Here create a new folder and you can name it Keep Download It. In this folder you can transfer all of your important files and they will always stay accessible even in the offline mode. All you need to do it is to just right click it or control click it and select keep download it. Now you might say why am I even putting it on the iCloud if I anyway need it offline and take the local storage. Well it is not only about one device. I am putting it there because I need all of these files, these plane tickets and other things accessible on all of these devices. I need it on my iPhone or the iPad because I'm not dragging my Mac everywhere with me. So let's have a quick look on iOS as well. If you have all device with iOS 17, this feature will not be accessible and you will still have to manage your files there manually and transfer them on the device. But with the update of iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, it works there exactly the same way as on the Mac. You just open your files app there Find the file you are looking for which you want to keep downloaded. And here we don't have the right click, so you just need to press and hold the file and select from the menu Keep Downloaded. Note that this is a per device feature. So if you select this file to be downloaded on one device, it will not affect it on the other devices which are connected to your Apple ID. So you really need to do it separately on all of the devices where you want these files to be downloaded. And in addition to that, you can of course do the opposite. You can remove the download. I can now with one click remove the download on the iPhone to save the local storage. And it will not affect any other devices and the file will still be accessible on the iCloud. And when I decide I need it again, with a single tap, I can bring it back. So now let's tap on the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.